Alrighty, welcome to Auction Not Included in the next episode of the Super Duper Lab! Today I'd like to have a glimpse on the topic of solar panels. Again. There is a little something that grabbed my attention and I think it will be a cool thing to address it. And um, it is about the arrangement of those panels, or in particular what would be the best and most optimal arrangement for the solar panels to maximize the power output or the power generation. For this I will do a little experiment where I will take for each arrangement five solar panels and I will try to move them around and calculate over time the amount of energy generated, okay? And hopefully at the end we can get a clear answer of what is the best arrangement. As you can see, maybe this setup will be somehow familiar to you. But anyway, I will need to destroy this and I'll need to rearrange everything to set everything up. Um, I'm going to build those bunker doors up there and also move all this setup here that you can see. I'm gonna move it up so that I can have enough space here on, on the bottom underneath to just rearrange the solar panels. And uh, yeah, to experiment a bit. So uh, let's do this. Okay. Uh, I do need to run the power wires to figure out how exactly to do it since we're gonna have a very, very high load here. So each door has 120 watts. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is one. Yeah, I did experience some technical issues here. I got the blue screen of death. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I built all of this in every single setup. I am taking the solar panel underneath and I'm moving it to the right with just one square. So here I have like one square, two squares difference, three squares, four and five squares difference. I'm also going to feed the generated power from each solar panel inside those 10 batteries that you can see underneath every single setup. And I'm going to try to time and see how quick the batteries are going to get charged. Just to make sure that I have actually timed it correctly, I'm going to add a notification so that I can pause the game when I get a green signal. Name, setup, one, pause the game and zoom. Then I'll copy the settings and do like this. I'm going to decouple the batteries for a moment, just because I want to have a clear, clear measurement. So when I'm opening the bunker doors, the panels are going to start generating electricity. I'm going to wait out for the mechanized airlocks to close and open to do their thing. I want to skip exactly this. I'm going to connect the wires so that we can start charging everything. And now we can measure how quickly the batteries are going to be charged. Okay, so in three, two, one, let's start now. Okay, uh, 135.8 seconds, okay, for setup 5, then we continue. Setup 4 is complete, 155.4, okay. Setup number three is also done with 183.6. Setup two is done in 229.8. And finally, setup one. Finished, 322.6. Okay, so I'm building setup number six, number seven, and number eight, where number seven will be 
six tiles to the right. Then the next one will be seven tiles to the right. And the last setup is just a single row. Okay, so we have set up seven and eight at the exact same time. It took 115.5 seconds. And this does make sense just because under the glass tile we do have the exact same amount of light that falls and here even in the vertical direction it is not even changing, it stays constant so it does mean that 7 and 8 would be exactly the same but still this had to be tested. Okay now the experiments are done. I did run four different tests for every single setup from setup 1 to setup 8 and Let's review the results. First things first. Here is how the sunlight is distributed over the span of a single cycle. As you can see, we do have a peak at around 260 seconds in. To keep everything consistent, I limited myself to the following window, which starts at roughly 70 seconds. When the bunker doors have been open and the manual airlocks have done their thing. Here are the dimensions of each pattern shown in this video, by the way. With this out of the way, here is the time it took for each setup to fully charge its 10 batteries. The values displayed are the average from all four experiments. As you can see, the numbers 7 and 8 did it in 124 seconds and setup 1 was the slowest with 330 seconds. Here is the maximum number of panels that you can fit inside the entire width of the map. Taking each of the short patterns and repeating them from left to right will allow you to build up to 35 panels with setup 7 and 8 and up to 115 panels with setup 1. Now, since the smart batteries store each 20 kilojoules and we have only 10 of them, it is possible to calculate the power that can be outputted by each setup for the maximum number of panels. Right away you can see that setup 1 and setup 2 generated the most power, although the slowest. And the lowest power yield is achieved by number 7 and 8 because of their width. Interestingly enough, setup 2 turns out to be the most optimal from the bunch with nearly 26% increase from setup 8. Even though it takes almost 240 seconds to fill those batteries, you can fit up to 85 panels on the standard map which tips the scale to its advantage. By the way, the map is 256 squares wide. So here you have it. Those numbers are a good approximation and give you a feeling of what to expect from the different patterns presented here. In conclusion, if you want to generate the most power possible with your solar panels and also have them use less space, then build each next panel with a two square offset to the side from the previous one. Thank you for watching. Ciao, see you soon.